Hey everyone, Yusuf here. How are you doing? Are you struggling to achieve that cinematic, dreamy look inside of Final Cut Pro? While I love Final Cut Pro as an editing software, its building color tools can feel a little bit limited. But what if I tell you that there's a way to achieve that pro level color grade without having to switch to DaVinci Resolve? Introducing Color Finale 2 Pro. I've been playing with this plugin for a couple of weeks now and I really love this plugin and it got me to achieve that pro level color grade that I always wanted. So in this video, I'll break down my color grading process using Color Finale 2 Pro. So buckle up guys and get ready to take your color grades to the next level inside of Final Cut Pro. All right, let's get started. And don't miss out, I got a 20% discount for the plugin for you guys. Just head in the description below and start grading like a pro. So I'll show you how to get this look right here. So the first thing you want to do is go to the effects panel and search for Color Finale. Then you double click on Color Finale Pro. Then you click on Edit Layers. First thing I'll do is I will add some saturation. So click on the color wheel and uh, lift up the saturation from the left, the gamma, and again, put up a little bit the overall saturation because that was not enough. And I will rename this layer uh, saturation just to know what it is. Then you click on log wheel. I will rename this log wheel exposure correction. Then I will go ahead and lift up the offset just a little bit because the image is too dark. I will lift up the highlights to 100 IRE and lower the shadows, uh, lower the midtone, sorry, to get some contrast back and lower or the shadows to a zero IRE. Then I will add in uh, curves uh, layer just to add a little bit more contrast to the image. And I will lower the shadows and lift up the highlights. But you see now there's a little bit too much contrast. So I'm going to lift up the the shadows a little bit and then you can see there's a little bit too much of saturation so i'm gonna bring up the saturation bar then i will go uh okay so i'll take a group what's cool about the color finale is you can make a group and uh, hsl mask so everything under this group will have this mask applied to it so in this case, I'm just going to select her skin tone. Yeah, you click on here just to make a good selection. You have to do this a couple of times just to make sure that you have all her skin tone selected. And then you go on display here and composite mask. Then you can see what was selected. Then this is the great thing about the color finale is the blur percentage. So for percent is good. And then you go back to display result. And I want to invert that. And let me show you how it looks like like so this is going to be everything but her skin tone so i'm going to choose um yeah camera matrix and i'm going to play a little bit with the colors here and see what it does to my image and what i like about it so everything that i do want affect my skin tones because i put a mask on it uh yeah just play a little bit around and see what you like this is good, I think. Yeah, right there. And I'm going to lift up the saturation a bit. And this is before and after, before and after. I'm going to play a bit with the shuffle layer also. So I'm going to click multiply for my blend mode. Let me try and choose. Yeah, you have to play around a little bit with, with this panel right here. Yeah, that could be good. Let me lower the opacity of that. Let me see before and after. Yeah, just add a little bit of teal to the image and I like it. I will add a log wheel and just put some warm back in the highlights and uh, also a little bit of teal also to the mid-tones. And this is my final image. I think I like it. So this is the before and this is the after. So in conclusion, I would strongly recommend this plugin for anyone that feels limited with Final Cut Pro built-in color tools. Also for anyone that's trying to avoid the steep learning curve of switching to DaVinci Resolve. All right, thanks for watching guys. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please subscribe or hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.